Good morning, class. Today we are going to look at uh, chapter two of uh, financial accounting. And, uh, the topic is uh, AISB's uh, conceptual framework. That is uh, International Accounting Standard Board's conceptual framework. And uh, under this, uh, we shall look at. Uh, the conceptual framework for financial reporting one conceptual framework for financial reporting then uh, what we are going to look at uh, again is uh, the ASB conceptual framework conceptual framework number three is a uh, qualitative characteristics of financial information qualitative financial information number four is uh, the element of financial statement element of financial statement number five is we're going to look at uh, recognition in a financial statement number six is other accounting concepts so uh, we are going to look at uh, all this in chapter two of this our course but uh, i'm going to break the videos into maybe five or six so that we we'll have a uh, uh, like let's say less than 10 15 minutes on each video okay so now uh, let's start with uh, the first one let's look at a uh, gap what is gap this gap mean uh, uh, generally accepted accounting principles, and uh, this uh, this gap is a uh, just a way of uh, presenting, uh, preparing and uh, presenting the financial statement. See, uh, they are just uh, principles or rules by uh, some of these. Uh, are contained in the laws and others are in a financial reporting standard uh, most concepts are not contained in any law or regulation or even standard but are simply uh, accepted accounting principles and conventions all the concepts and uh, principles conventions rules regulations that are used in preparing and uh, presenting financial statements they are all known as a uh, gap that is a uh, generally accepted accounting principles this uh, uh, gap varies from uh, one country to another because uh, each country has its own uh, legal and uh, regulatory system 
they have their own accounting style setting bodies and uh, they develop all these uh, standards locally this is why they are called local standards and uh, just for example in uh, nigeria we have a nigerian gap nigerian gap we have a u.s gap we have uk gap we have a eu gap and the rest yeah but uh, nigeria has accepted uh, who has adopted uh, uh, international financial reporting standard which is uh, Nigeria is not using uh, gap again under international financial reporting standard we have a uh, IAS and IFRS this IAS is uh, international accounting standards and the IFRS is uh, international financial reporting standard under the IAS, uh, the IAS has one to forty-one standards, while the IFRS one to seventeen standards. These are the standards, but they are all called international standards. That is uh, all I have to say concerning the gap. And now we are now going to look at uh, what is this conceptual framework. A conceptual framework is a system of uh, concepts and uh, principles that uh, underpin the preparation and uh, of a uh, financial statement these concepts and uh, principles should be consistent with one another in, uh, the first uh, framework was issued in uh, 1989 and uh, it was called uh, uh, framework for the preparation and presentation of a financial statement this was adopted by uh, ISB, which is the International Accounting Standard Board. Yeah. And then uh, the current uh, framework was issued in uh, March, March uh, 2018. And uh, it's now called the Conceptual framework for financial reporting this is it conceptual from work for financial uh, reporting so that is it and uh, under this uh, is uh, now has a uh, sections under this uh, conceptual framework we have some uh, sections which uh, they are called chapters have chapter one to eight one chapter one is talking about the objectives of a uh, general purpose financial reporting well two two is talking about uh, qualitative characteristics of a uh, useful financial information then three is uh, three is a financial statement and the reporting entity number four is the element of financial statement number five is uh, recognition and uh, the recognition number six is measurements and uh, seven number seven is presentation and disclosure 
number eight. Number eight is uh, concept of capital and capital maintenance. So that is uh, all about uh, the uh, conceptual framework. And now we shall look at uh, the purpose of uh, this conceptual framework. purpose of this conceptual framework uh, most preparers and the uh, users of uh, financial statements recognize uh, that there is a need for a formal conceptual framework and that is uh, uh, can be used in a number of ways and where there is a formal conceptual framework for accounting and uh, accounting practices uh, accounting standards are based on this uh, framework. Lack of uh, formal framework means that standards are developed randomly or only to deal with particular problems. The result is that uh, the standards are inconsistent with each order or the legislation. Uh, when we don't have a uh, uh, the framework everybody will develop its standards the way it wants as I explained earlier in the in that gap each country is responsible developing their own accounting standards then in a situation whereby there is no framework uh, just uh, like a guideline what will not guide you to develop that your standards everybody will develop the standard the way they want it and uh, it's possible that uh, it will be developed only to deal with uh, a specific uh, issue it will not uh, cover everything that uh, that are standards so we we'll have a lot of uh, standard that deals with uh, different issues but uh, with the help of uh, this conceptual framework there is a guideline Okay, you want to develop a standard you need to follow the framework in order to develop your standards that is it and uh, the lack of conceptual framework may also mean that uh, accounting standards fails to address uh, important issues and uh, the business environment is becoming complex it is unlikely that uh, accounting standard can cover all possible transactions where an entity enters uh, into an unusual transaction and uh, there is no relevant accounting standard it can refer to the framework and apply the principle in it when uh, we don't have a uh, where sometimes you see that uh, you have a uh, complex uh, transactions and uh, there is no specific uh, standard that covers that transaction what you need to do is uh, to go back to the framework the framework will have a guideline that you will now deal with that transactions this uh, uh this is same then that that under this we are now going to look at uh, the alternative the alternative to the conceptual framework what is the alternative to this framework the alternative to a system based on conceptual framework is system based or rules Accounting standards based on the rules are open to abuse. Creative accounting is uh, also known as uh, the window dressing. Is the name given to techniques which enable management to give uh, a bias uh, impression, which will now be in their favor uh, of the company's performance. 
they can just maneuver a lot of things you can just play with uh, the uh, financial statement the way they want it so that it will now favor the management and uh, in 1980s there were a number of uh, scandals in which investors were misled by the financial statement uh, of, uh, of companies and later on all the, uh, the companies now collapse this was uh, one of the original reasons why the ISB and other standard setters developed their conceptual frameworks because uh, the uh, principles normally much harder to evade than rules that is uh, what are the uh, uh, because sometimes despite this uh, problem some preparers and regulators still appear to favor rule best standard uh, standard based on principles may require management to use its judgment while rules simply need to be followed this can be important where management can face legal action if an investor makes a poor decision based on the financial statement. But the use of a conceptual framework can lead to standards that are theoretical and complex. They may give uh, the right answer, but the uh, uh, difficult for the ordinary preparer to understand and apply. Uh, a system of extremely detailed rules can also be very difficult to apply. These are uh, all this, and I uh, think uh, uh, we are now going to stop here in our next video. We are going to look at uh, the users and their information needs, the objectives of uh, general purpose of a financial statement and a financial statement and the reporting entity thank you